Hello and welcome to another five minute toot. Today I've got something for you. Uh, it's actually one of the Google apps that you have. It's Google Slides. And I know what you're probably thinking. You're just like, my goodness, uh, Rick, you're gonna make us sit through five minutes of you just telling me about Google Slides that I already know about. Well, I am because there's a lot of very cool things that you may or may not know about Google Slides and I want you to kind of maximize something. I think Google Slides is probably one of the most underutilized tools um, out there and it's so super easy that um, I wanna make sure you have some cool things to show. So first things first, I'm in Google Drive. I'm gonna create a new Google Slideshow, <clears throat> Google's version of PowerPoint basically. Uh, there's a couple of things. First of all, default for Google Slides is um, just like this. It has a title slide. Uh, if I add another slide to it, it's going to give me this like little blank thing. Um, one thing I want to show you guys is this nice little blank slide here because some of the things that we're going to do today are going to need that blank slide. Actually, when I make my presentations, that's pretty much all I use now is the blank slides. I kind of pretty much get rid of these boxes and I make my own thing up. Uh, same thing with the themes. The themes here are nice and good for your standard uh, information type thing, but we are going to use something a little bit cooler and neater. So it looks like my timer's not floating to the top anymore. I'll try to make Make sure I keep track of time here. Um, so here's what's really cool. If you go to file and you go to page setup, okay, um, you have the options of doing a widescreen or a four by three or a 16 by 10. But here's the one I want you to check out. And this is custom. What I can do with custom is I can make my slides whatever size I want to. So if I wanted to go uh, 11 by 8.5, which we know is the standard size of a piece of paper, I could say, okay, and now look at this. I've got an actual piece of paper. Now this is paper size right here, which is cool for a couple of things. It's cool for flyers. This one I did eight and a half by 11. Uh, so I have a full page flyer. So when I build this, how exactly how I want it to, I can print this and this becomes a great uh, flyer for me. Uh, I can also make awards with it if I want to as well. So I'm putting my awards, uh, I make them on Google Slides. And so what's really cool is you can basically make a template Okay, make this one how I want it. I can right click on it and I can duplicate that slide um, for as many as I needed to. So this is kind of a cool, easy way to make in a very kind of professional looking uh, or at least more professional looking um, award or newsletter for a matter of fact. So I think a lot of us do newsletters. Uh, and if you've ever done a newsletter where you are um, trying to put some pictures in and images in, the problem that you run into is your formatting. So you've got um, issues with trying to stick that that uh, picture within your words. And so what's nice about slides is there's none of those formatting things there. I can take any of these pictures and basically put it anywhere that I want to, which is kind of cool. I can stick this anywhere I want. So as you can see, I put this out here, kind of even have it, oops, going a little off the, the sides here. So I kind of have a cooler looking um, image. So I don't have to worry about messing up my text because this is a text box. So I've got my text box, I've got my images, they're all thrown in there, I can order them how I want to, so I can make some kind of cool things. So going along with that, looks like I have a little under two minutes left. Um, I do want to share with you something. So I'm going to, I have this blank presentation that I have right here. Uh, show you something cool about pictures when you're doing searches. And since this is about lunchtime that I'm doing my uh, thing here, foods on my brain. So I've uh, done a little search for taco pictures, but uh, I did this special thing called PNG. And I really honestly, off the top of my head, have no idea what that, that stands for, but I will put some overlay with the actual term on there. Uh, pretty neat something, I guess, is what it is. But if you search for a PNG, this is what a PNG file looks like. Do you notice how when I open this picture up, I've got these little checker boxes right here? Well, what's cool is it's not going to get this like white background. It's just going to give me this image, which is kind of neat. So if I right click on this, I can say copy image address. I'm not saving anything to my computer. I'm not taking up drive space. I'm not worried about clogging anything up. And then when I come over here, I can say insert image and Google will allow me to image it, or sorry, insert it by URL. I can say paste. I get just that picture right there, which is cool. So my taco shows up and it's going to be in front of everything. So if I change my background just to a simple color, just to show you what that shows look like here. There we go. I've got a taco on my red background. I don't have that extra white here. So it kind of makes it a little easier. So when I went back to, let's check my time, 20 seconds. Oh my goodness. So when I went back to these things, these were all PNG. So I could float them on top of my background. It makes it look a little nicer, a little cleaner, a little neater, uh, and also a little bit more professional. Although I did actually no extra work, which is, that's the kind of thing I like. Make yourself look cool uh, when 
you didn't actually do a whole lot of work. Uh, so there's a little five minute, hopefully a couple tips that you've gotten. My time is up, so I'm going to cut this. What a toot. What a toot indeed, right? I'm going to cut this toot short right now. Um, hopefully you can get around and play around with um, some Google Slides and come up with some neat things, things that you have not done before. So there's your five minute toot for today.